something I've been anticipating for a while. It took a lot of trial and error, but thankfully, great companies, very thankful for them, such as K-Tune. They helped me out, you know? I don't really know when it comes to this. Me and Aunt never had any experience with Hondas, but I would say for our first time, I think it's looking great. I think it's gonna operate great, and it's gonna be great. This video is brought to you by K2, and yours truly, so. If you look to my right, we have a box from K2. From K2. So, with that being said, and this being said, let's just open it. Let's feel it. Oh, it's busting with part. It is. Do you see it's that? It's kind of packed. It almost popped out. Should put a spring under it. <laughs> packed that tight. Oh, yeah. I don't remember buying all this stuff. There's a lot to talk about. We pull it out first? Um, or Take yeah. it all out of the box. We'll, we'll talk about it. All right, so everything is, <laughs> everything is laid out on the table. As you can see in front of me, there's some stuff to talk about. This is a... This is good stuff. So we'll start by this. with this box right here. There it is. Crazy thing with this, you go buy one from AutoZone anywhere. It didn't have a reservoir. No reservoir. What did they expect you to do? Just I don't know. Pop it off and then just I don't know. But K Tune didn't sleep. Need this. Don't have this. So we can have a clutch pedal. This box. Shift knob. Yeah, right hand drive. Yeah, that'll feel nice. But we don't have we don't have a shifter to, to put this onto. Good to have for when we get a shifter. Start with the big box. This one doesn't say anything on it, so we'll go with that. Does that say K tune on it? Allen That's keys. Sick. I didn't order an Allen key set. What is this? Oh my god! The crown jewel. That thing looks nuts. Look at it. I have here, K-Tune Street Shifter. Uh, I think that's Race Shifter, right? I can't really tell you guys too much about this shifter because it's not out yet, released. My buddy Sean at K-Tune said they have a prototype. I'll be the test on it. I'm sure they tested it, but I don't know. This is different for, from any other shifter that I've ever put in. Exactly so, what I'm thinking. I wouldn't even, I don't know. It's gonna be great, but that's a sick piece right there. Right. Yeah. See how it feels. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Sick piece. That'll work and look crazy. Might have to trim to put it in, but screw it. Don't care. I could have Spoon assist me put that in too if I needed help. Box <laughs> in a box. Oh, look at the sticker on the side. Race key. Oh, this is a bracket now that, yep. And we got this to pair with, holy shit. Got this to pair with the shifter. These are race back cables. cables. Had street cables and then they changed it to race cables. So we're gonna. For a reason. For a reason, yeah. There's a we're reason behind it. We're gonna find out. It. Like I said, I'm gonna trust Sean at K-Tune, because if you ask anybody with a Honda, you'd ask 10 people, hey, 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 what do I do with that? 10 different answers. Preference. Mm-hmm. They all got different ways of doing it, so. This is probably what we're gonna install on the car first, because. It's another cool piece. It's very cool. I like the idea of it, but to my knowledge, they haven't put it on a right-hand drive car, so I might have to make it fit. Yeah. So we got lines. And what these brackets will do is just essentially move the power steering pump to where the AC compressor mm -hmm. would, would go. It's going to push the power steering pump all down. the way down there. TPS, I don't have one. I started the car up and it ran like shit, so hopefully this will make the car run dialed. Hook cap, stick. They bend like that, huh? Yeah. Oh, and then the last piece. My favorite piece. Yeah. Cool piece. This is a very cool piece. Open it up, I need to see it. You buy some ECUs and then you gotta buy a case to put it in. Like a stock casing. But K-Tune decided that they were gonna start to make their own billet cases. I believe this is a prototype too. I think it's coming out end of January or mid-February. I don't know exactly, but machined aluminum. Little grommets too. 
Yeah, that's sick. This is that's very nice. That's cool. That's nice. Like a fat piece of billet. They killed that. Be dropping this probably in the next month. I will keep you guys up to date on that, as well as with the shifter. This could probably go whichever way you want. <laughs> Little metal box, we're excited over it, but it's fucking sick. There you have it, a lot of miscellaneous stuff we've needed, main components, the shifter, whew, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at it. <laughs> Shifter, I don't know, but at least I'm comfortable. Very comfortable for some reason. Extra comfortable today. Yeah. Let's just get into this. Throw on the TPS, oil cap, dipstick, clutch master, stock oil cap. Kind of look good. Hmm. Watch that thing, it's gonna whip oil. Let's throw it. Fueled in with the new. I didn't get the little fancy spring on it because we're not gonna have that much crank pressure on this one. Better than the orange. Yeah, much better. Much better than the orange. I feel like it changed the engine bay already drastically. Drag or motor car. They match. I don't know if I'm going to put the uh, decal on it because I'm not a big sticker guy. Or I might put the decal on it, but not yet. Mm. Overall? So nice. Simple. Clean. Just going all motor. Oh, RJ's new car. Got the hood open. There's no way he's recharging the fucking AC right now. RJ, there's no way you're recharging your AC right now. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, it's nice out. <laughs> there's snow outside. It's gonna blow cold. He got a new car. I didn't show it because he would have yelled at me before if he showed it, but he announced it. AMG E350? E550. That's unreal, he's charging it. He's one of a kind, RJ. Looks like K-Tune got a booth in here, trying to sell some shit. If you guys missed the last one, or the last two, the hatch is stripped, the wall is blown out. We're slowly but surely figuring this out. They put a little fitting there for the line. Yeah. Nothing. They like my outfit to start off? It's good. It's nice, <laughs> right? <laughs> they lace you out. Second compliment of the day. So these two Allens go to the motor, the back, see those four, they're in already, so we can put this on now. Skimming the car, huh? This kind of sucks. The Bondo? I mean, it's not, it's, it's just normal kind of shit, but. Not to your spec. No, I'm just saying, it would have been. 3M. It, it, yeah, it would have been. What do you think of my body work? It's pretty good. All wavy. Very nice, like the ocean. Not the hood. Yeah, it's wavy as the ocean. That's piss poor. <laughs> it, depe it depends what day it is. I've seen a calm ocean. This needs minimal body I've work. I've seen a calm ocean. <laughs> it's not bad. The car's not in that bad of shape. But Brian, this is what he's doing, so it's going to look great. Some pinholes. But think about it. We're taking most of this material off of here, so. It'll be minimal. Fuck, we didn't pull them. This is rolled. Ah, you don't fuck, need to pull. our plan didn't go. These wheels fit, dumbass. Shut up. Masters in. I opened it up, there's nothing in there. They put fluid in it already? Put a note. Oh my god, there is a note in it. Oh, that's a fire one, actually. Yeah, the clear one is clean. That one's fire. Right there. Trying to run this clutch line every other way possible, but I think we found the only one and plausible way that it goes in. So this bracket, we need a Type S selector out of an RSS now. We got the clutch line ran, clutch master is in. We gotta run the cables tomorrow and maybe try to put the shifter in. TPS in it, so technically, hopefully tomorrow, well, the shifter and the cables in, and a lot, of, a lot of stuff. I think the shifter's in the car, actually. It is. Look at that bitch. That bitch looks fast. That's a good piece. 
Spoon says it looks the same as the old one, but I think this is a new one that they're coming out with. We're gonna have to trim that a little bit so all the uh, the center council and whatnot will fit. To run the cables, we have to make a hole down there. You can't really see it, but you'll see once we do that. Just knock this out. How long did it take us to stand this? Two hours about. No, five like minutes. Half an hour. That most, and Anthony was on the phone. Effortlessly dreaming on the phone, yeah. sanding. Well, maybe when we get the primer, after we prime it, you could you could help me tape it. We could prime it together. Mm -hmm. Do a lot of priming. You don't yeah, want to I want to prime. Yeah, I, I do. Good idea. I want to prime. You know, a nice 1.9. You should have no problem priming. Yeah, I gotta order that gun. We're we're skimming the car and we're seeing it blocking it down. Not much else to say, really. The roof's yeah. pretty perfect. The hood's pretty perfect. I don't know why you're saying that. Well, comparably. The hood and the roof both need attention, so that's sim really. <laughs> I just don't understand why you said that. Uh, <laughs> still got a well patched in the rear. That's why you see. I oh, we're there. skipping steps. You would say. Where's Body the gas. Where's the welding gas? Spoon's using it. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> He's using it. <laughs> exactly, I'm not skipping steps. You gotta let somebody rob you of our freaking argon CO2 mixture. Sharing is caring. I mean, I'm not gonna disagree, but I'm just saying. Sharing is caring, bro. Yeah. And I eat, skim coat down the car, block it once, prime it. Well, ooh. it should be all it takes. Coat it once, and so no more Bondo on the- and That's on the goal. Yeah. It's always the goal. Like this whole top half, we got and it done, one coat, it's fine. I think if I blocked, it would probably need that's what I might worry. You know what I mean? That's, that's what I might worry. Good progress tonight. I do need a Type S shifter selector. This one is just not gonna work on this setup that I have the Z3 six speed and what have you. But possibly try to get the shifter in tomorrow. Change the ECU case, run some cables. Ryan sanded some bondage on the car. Delete panel for the light is in the car. Just gonna clean up. Huge shout out to K Tune. So far, very happy with it. Tomorrow, gotta get a nut for the power steering pulley. So, guys, don't go anywhere, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. So, we went on a goose hunt this morning trying to find this nut. Sounds easy. That nut, all the hardware stores, nowhere had it. But we found it kicking around. Shout out James. He had a power steering pump that he wasn't using. Factory nut works, man. I was gonna order one off Amazon, but now I don't need to do that. Technically, we could put the pump in now and then try to find a belt that fits. Then I'm gonna take the uh, ECU out of the car and take it out of that other case that it's in. Swap these out quick. Mm-hmm. That's a sick piece. Super clean, super sleek. Throw her in. We do gotta put some expansion loom on her so we could wire up the AFR gauge, but put the two screws on the top for now. Putting in the power steering pump, but there seems to be some complications. k -Tune said that they haven't tried this on a right-hand drive car, and it seems that we're having an issue with it hitting the radiator. Ant messes with the power steering. I'm gonna try to fit the shifter in here. And for me to do that, this lip right here, I have to grind this down so that this fits flat to the tranny tunnel, drive shaft tunnel. Yeah, I gotta smooth this down. A little bit of this. All right, so grinded it down so this now fits nice and flat. I have to make new holes, get hardware, put it through, mount it, then we can run the cables. Pilot holes are drilled. This shifter should fit and it's a little crooked, you know, you won't really feel it. Check this out, tolerance, very tight. Uh oh, so tight, it could thread into that hole. Put carpet in the way, you lift it up. Oh, nice shit. Two out of four. Come on, come on. Let's Put the nuts in it and then um, ready to, almost ready to bang some gears. Look at this piece. Anthony. Fully mounted. It look nice. You have that shifter, right, Anthony? Nice fucking piece. You have that shifter? No. 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 I got the hybrid racing. 
the power steering pump is in. We just couldn't run the K2 outlet right there because it kind of hits the radiator a little bit. So I might have to move the radiator a little bit forward in order to run the elbow that they send with the kit. Other than that, there's nothing much different of why it wouldn't fit. Ground isn't gonna interfere. We're gonna see. I thought that would, was a nice ground, but we're gonna see. That might be in the danger zone. Let's open up these cables and see. Start on that. Then he found me a selector. Our buddy Angel, he had an RSX one. This is out of an SI. It does not have the lockout, but hopefully I don't put it into reverse by mistake. So me cleaning this one was a complete waste because this is the one I need. I started by cleaning the weight off. It, it was covered in rust. So we got to paint that, clean this, and tap some holes into the tranny. This is such a mess under here. But the gauge works. What'd you tap into it? A radio. That's always the go-to. Look at it. It's going to lean out. Ready? <laughs> That's what you don't want. Whoever's tuning, they're going to be happy it's in the ECU. You think? Because then they'll it's see the it. ECU. I don't know why. It's a the tune. gauge is right here. They're it's right here. A, it's a tuner thing. Yeah. Derek, specifically, he, he wanted that that time. Maybe if Jimmy's busy, Derek could possibly tune it. On his, what is it? Is that front line? Main line. On his main line. Or may, maybe we bring it to Sonics and try to get Jamie to tune it. I don't know. That's that if Jimmy's busy. Would be sick. That would be. We'll see. We'll see, you know? We'll see how it goes. See if the stars align and the right people are in contact. I clean another selector off, Bry. Look at this thing. Yeah, that's um <laughs> poor. That that might even be piss poor. Shit poor. <laughs> <laughs> so what we got over here, you don't need it. that one's it's cleaned already. What do you mean? There's red paint all over. Hona brought me a water heater. Huge shout out to Hona. Brian wanted it. I'm fucking pissed about it. Brian needs a water heater at his shop. But you're here more than you're at your shop. Still, that's poor. Poor. That's my brother in law. He brought you a fucking heater before bringing me a heater. He brought me something else before, too. I can't say, though. What? Nothing. That's a lot of welds. I thought we were just tacking it. What are you talking about? This little box, nobody mentioned this when the dash was out. We gotta draw up the spot welds here, here, here. I missed those ones. Yeah, just ripped them out. Just came right out. So this goes under the dash, the airbag. Ooh, that's sharp. Sits right on top of the module for the airbag system. Maybe it's JDM only, I don't know. We ripped the airbags out. Now this pedestal is ripped out. So if you come over here, crawl under the dash right there. That is where we drill our hole for the cables. You see? I don't know why they don't just put a grommet there. Put a lot of other, the clutch pedal had grommets in it, mint. Yeah, what do they expect you to do for your cables? But now, so we just drill through that? Yeah, it's a firewall. So now we have to drill the hole for the shifter cables, but we're having a slight dilemma because the drills don't fit under the dash to give it like a straight shot for the hole where we need it because of the heater boxes and what have you is blocking the way. Tried this right angle one and the, ch the chuck, it just, it's not big enough. All right, and did shave the holes for the lights on the rear. See, welding blanket. We're growing up here, we're learning. What antenna? What running light, whatever you want to call that. Some bondage over it and it'll be like it was never there. Shifting gears here, people. We're, we're so close. No fucking way, that's what we're using. Steady. That ain't good. <laughs> Going through the subframe. <laughs> it is thinking. <laughs> it's innovation. All right, well, I didn't film it, but Obviously, the shifter cables are in, which is a very good sight to see. In the car. You hook this side up out here, like that. Shifter's pretty much done. The shifter mechanism, the selector. Gotta clean that up tomorrow. And then, you know, some more parts. 
progress, at least the shifters on, TPS, miscellaneous stuff, the power steering pump. Still gotta do winds and brakes, but big shout out to K-Tune. Everything fits beautifully. So if you guys need any parts, I'll put the link in the description. Their products are awesome, so. With that being said, the hatch will pick up on that too very soon. We're gonna probably bounce back and forth. This doesn't need too, too much more. It's close, it's down to like the little, the little things now. And let me know if I'm doing anything wrong. I'm sure you guys will. I'll catch you guys in the next one.